Hello, today's devotional can be found in Psalms chapter 89 verse 4. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Selah. Okay, we are all children of God, but we didn't all make it to earth. Long ago, there was a plan established, a plan that would require someone to go down and give their life to bridge a gap that would be created by the fall of man and be that bridge between men and God. Christ volunteered, as did an angel named Lucifer. And of course, Heavenly Father chose Christ because Lucifer wanted to make everyone come back in the glory be his, that Christ wanted the glory to be Heavenly Father's and give everyone their agency. Because why would Heavenly Father want people there that didn't want to be there? He's not going to force agents, his will upon anyone who doesn't want to follow it. And this was established even in the beginning. And so, Satan, or Lucifer and his, angel, and his friends were booted out of the third group of the hosts of heaven gone for the choice they made to follow Lucifer. And so they will never have families, they will never learn, they will never grow, they will never be built up by the atonement. For they rejected all things, knowing what was coming. And the rest of us, we have had are having or will have a chance to come to earth that we might be able to experience all that Heavenly Father has given for us and organized for us that we might be able to enjoy the blessings and the responsibility of being a child of God and living up to the measure of our creation because we are the greatest thing that Heavenly Father created and yet as mortals, we are the most complicated because we eventually learn of God and learn everything we need to know. And then we have our agency, and sometimes people choose to use their agency to go a different path because it's more comfortable to them. And all of us, in one way or another, will have the responsibility of caring for children. And it doesn't make, it's not a worthiness thing. I mean, nobody is better than anybody else in the eyes of the Lord. Everybody's just ready to care for children at different times and in different ways. Some come to earth, some children come to earth without anybody to care for them, and the Lord needs people to care for those people too. And some are sent to earth. But as long as we are righteous and desire good things and take care of ourselves, the Lord will see us fit and responsible to take upon ourselves the stewardship of caring for children, whether we give birth to them, foster them, adopt them, or simply have them in our lives. If we show that we are responsible with ourselves, the Lord will give us other things and people to be responsible for. And through these responsibilities we are given, we can be built up and we can build others up through the Spirit of the Lord and the Atonement can build us up that we may have strength to endure and enjoy every responsibility and opportunity we are given because of the Atonement. You see, it's because of the Atonement that we don't have to focus on ourselves that we can look beyond that and see that we can be truly happy and that the atonement builds us up that we may be able to build others up. That all may know that they are valuable and that they are the most wondrous thing that Heavenly Father has created. So long as we take care of ourselves, the Lord will see fit to give us opportunities to take care of others and all may be built up to the happiness and peace that the atonement can bring. 
But be warned, when we're given responsibility to take care of others, we need to live up to that. If we don't live up to the responsibility of taking care of others, after we've promised the Lord, those who break their promises to the Lord will be dealt with accordingly, and it will have been better that they never made the promise. All are valuable children of God. We are all seed of God. We are valuable, and we can be built up to the atonement. We need to remember that we're valuable. We're so valuable, we are of infinite worth. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.